Have you ever watched a video on the internet that didn't start with, what's up, guys? Me neither. Hi, everybody. It's Golden here. I'm here to show you uh, a project that I've been working on for the past couple of days. I've sort of locked myself in the room to make sure that I got it done because this is something that people have requested for a long time, um, kind of sporadically throughout the history of my streaming uh, because I wrote this program several years ago that I used to display information on my stream, but I never really released it or uh, it, it wasn't even really in a state that other people could use because it was really hacked and, and poorly put together. So what I did is I updated it, made it more customizable, made it user friendly, and now I'm releasing it to all of you. So let me show you Stream Ticker. Stream Ticker is a program that allows you to create messages and bind them to images. And the pair of the image and the message will be displayed on the screen. It's also highly customizable. So what you're seeing here is the default settings for Stream Ticker when you download it. It'll come equipped with one message, one image, and uh, a selected background. But everything is customizable with Stream Ticker. So let me just show you. So right now, that's, that's what you're seeing is Stream Ticker at its default. Let's go ahead and walk through some of the things that you get when you download Stream Ticker. So first of all, we've got an image folder here that includes a couple different backgrounds and several common images that you might want to use when you're creating messages. So those are already in place. So let's start by adding a message. We do that with a program called Message Maker. The Message Maker pops open. And it asks for some basic information. Uh, it just wants to know, you know, what do you want to nickname this message? So let's say I want to add a message that showcases my Twitter. So in this case, I'll call this the Twitter message. And I'm going to add my Twitter. Apparently, I don't remember how to type it, but that's okay. So that's my Twitter. And we'll preview it. So now that's what it's going to look like. Now notice that the default image here is just the logo for stream ticker. So if I don't want to use that, if I want to actually select one, I can go into this optional select here. And in here, now I can open up the image of my choosing. And now it will replace it with the Twitter icon. So there you go. You get to see that this is what your image is going to look like roughly when you add it. Now, one other thing you can do here that I'm not doing is you could add text from a file. Um, so let me just, I'll show you what that looks like, but I'm not going to actually add it. So let's say I wanted to add all the stuff that's in README into the message, which we would never do. Um, the way that the, the text works is it will open up the file, but it will only read the first line of the file. And the reason is because, A, if you actually tried to read a large file, too much text. It's not going to display. And B, most of the Streamlabs stuff that people would actually want to read from the files are single lines. So we're just going to assume that it's reading one line. So here you can see it added, welcome to stream ticker. Now, these prefix and suffix and text, the way these work, is they display in this order. So prefix will display first, text will display second. What you read from the file is third, and suffix is fourth. So if I just preview again to show you, we get one, two, welcome to stream ticker, which is the contents of README, and then four. So that's why these options are here. It gives you a chance to write something before and after what you're reading from the file. So pretty neat stuff. But now in this case, I don't actually want to read from the file, so I'm just going to open this up and cancel. I don't have anything to, to read there. Uh, I just want to add my Twitter. So we'll do at golden SRL. We'll preview it. it. Looks good. Last thing we'll do is validate it. And this is just a sanity check. If something was wrong with the message, it would actually stop you from adding it here. But it looks like it says message is valid and ready to be added. So now I'm just going to click add message. Message was added. And it clears so I can create another message. Sweet. So now we have two messages. So if I close this now and I reopen stream ticker, we should see two messages now. There's the stream ticker by a golden message that uh, is just built in when you download it. That'll go away. And op 
pops the Twitter, uh, Twitter icon and, and the uh, message that we added. And it will just continue to cycle through those. Very cool so far, pretty simple. Let's take it up a notch. Uh, I know you're thinking, how do I get rid of that annoying message that Golden added? I don't wanna plug his silly little program on my stream. Uh, so that's what Message Manager is for. Message Manager is another tool here. It's going to boot up and load all of your messages that you currently have existing. And it will allow you to do two things to them. First one is you can reorder them. So if I decide I want to actually keep all my messages, but I just want to reorder, you can switch the message order. And now when it boots up, the first thing you'll see is the Twitter. And the second thing you'll see is the uh, promo for stream ticker. Now, the reason you might want to reorder is let's say that you have a couple of messages that you want to display in a row that make logical sense to display in that order and allow you to do that. The other feature of message manager is you can delete messages. So let's get rid of that pesky developer included message. Yeah, get out of here. No more promotion for you. So we delete that one. And now when we run stream ticker, the only message we have is Twitter. Very cool. Seems like fun so far. That's pretty basic. Now, here's, here's the fun part. I don't know if you guys remember back in the day on Twitch, but one of the things that I loved in the early days of Twitch was when people were allowed to embed HTML into their page and customize it and really make it their own. That was really fun. And then it got replaced with these... Uh, these panels that are slightly less fun, uh, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, they're getting better, and there's more creativity to them, but it doesn't feel as unique and as your own. So why did I bring that up? It's because we're bringing back that creativity uh, with the settings GUI here. Uh, this is actually just going to be called settings.exe and yours. For some reason, uh, I got creative and added two of them. But when you download it, you're going to get settings.exe. So settings.exe, look at how overwhelming this is. Okay, this is, this is a play toy right here. Look at this. You get all sorts of options, fully customizable. Basically, everything in the program can be customized. And I'll kind of just walk you through some of the things you can do. So on the left here, you can choose all the different ways that messages transition off the screen. Whatever ones you have selected, it will randomly pick from those. So if you wanted to do the same thing every time, you can just uncheck all the ones. Like let's say I only want it to slide down. I uncheck all the other ones it will only slide down. If I leave a couple of them, you know, like maybe I leave all the sliding ones, then it will just pick randomly from those each time it gets rid of a message. You can customize the window width and height. So by default, I've got it set up to, to behave uh, at, at these dimensions. But in theory, uh, you can set this to whatever you want. And let me know if you break it, but it should work just fine. Uh, you can customize the width, the height here. These coordinates are for the center of the background image that you can select. Now let's say down here, like you don't like the background image, you wanna change the background image. All right, well let's load up the, uh, the selector here. And we will pick a different image. So let's just pick like background five, okay. Um, the background color is, let's say you don't want an image at all. You just want to have a solid background. Or let's say that your background image doesn't cover the entire window. Then you'll see the background color in that space. So here we can go in and just choose some other background color. You're not going to see it on mine because the background is perfect dimensions. Um, then image and message X coordinates. So these allow you to choose how far over in the window you want the image to pop up and how far over you want the message to pop up. Why is this cool? This is because let's say you don't like the backgrounds I provided. Maybe you want to make your own custom background or maybe you change the dimensions of the window. Now you can set where the image and the message are going to appear. So you can be very creative with this. Um, if you have any ability with uh, Photoshop or GIMP at all, you can create some pretty cool backgrounds. Over here, we got message settings. So you can set how long the messages should appear, how long they should uh, wait between each message for the next one to appear. You can alter the fundamental pacing of the program if you want to. If you set this number really high, it'll actually just take forever to show messages, so don't do that. Um, all of your fonts are here in the dropdown, and you can set whatever font you want. I know like uh, the first one everybody's gonna pick is Comic Sans, so go for that. 
Um, one thing to note is this program is designed to work with monospaced fonts. I'm going to say that again. This is designed to work with monospaced fonts. All of the calculations that go on, everything hinges on the idea that every letter is the same width. So when you pick a font that is not monospaced, you're going to potentially have some funky message display. Now, that doesn't mean that it won't look cool. Um, it very well could. But you might just notice some inconsistency. So if you really want the consistency out of this program, I recommend a monospaced font. That being said, experiment all you want. It's going to be fun. Uh, let's change the message color. I don't want white. I want these messages to be, uh, let's see. Oh, like bright pink. Okay, yes. Then down here, we have the font settings. So these are the default font sizes. Um, over here, we have what are called normal messages. So there's two types of messages, normal and long. A long message is literally just that. It's a long message. So right here, you get to set how long a long message is. So right now, I have it by default to 16 characters. But we can change that to whatever we want. Once you get to a long message, these settings over here apply to the long message. So you can set, you know, the font would be smaller in that case if you want it to fit on the window. And over here, this is just the standard sizes for the uh, normal messages. And all of these things that, you know, if I, if, if I didn't make any sense, all these things have a uh, hover to explain what's going on here. So the tool tips there, they should be helpful. So let's just save what we've got now. We'll just go with this and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna save these settings. Settings were updated. Let's take a look at what stream ticker looks like now. Oh man, look at that. Look at that Comic Sans and that pink. That's great. So there you go. Um, you can mess with this all you want and be very creative with it. I hope you guys come up with some cool things. I hope it gives your stream some personality. And I hope that um, you find it just useful in general. Um, recommend it to other streamers. Spread the news. Um, let's get the word out there because this is free. I'm offering it up. I just want people to use it. I'm sick and tired of seeing plain text on streams. Help me combat plain text. Let's get some fancy graphics going. So I bet you're wondering, okay, that, that's all cool and all, but, but uh, where can I get this? You know, I, I want this now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is available right now on my website, gowunden.com slash stream ticker. Once again, that's gowunden.com slash stream ticker. Alternatively, if you just go to gowunden.com, you can go over to coding projects and select stream ticker. There you go. That's it. This is stream ticker. I hope you download it. I hope you play with it. I hope you break it because it's, there's probably some coding errors. I don't know. If you do find coding errors, I do have a link down here that you can uh, report issues. So please do that. And thanks for watching. Have fun with stream ticker. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more of my content, visit gowunden.com. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash gowunden. And my Twitter and YouTube are goldensrl.